Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the shell and lattice stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. This is a beautiful lacy stitch. Uh, I think it would make a gorgeous uh, baby blanket or shawl. You can let me know how you would use this stitch in the comments below. But the stitch is similar on both sides very lacy but one that is fairly stable as well. It's comprised of these shell stitches that are spaced out between these double crochet stitches. Today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as some uh, paint box yarn I caught in a ran and uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you will find a direct link to the free written and photo tutorial for this stitch, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. There are lots of other great stitches and crochet patterns to be found. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of eight stitches plus six. So today for my foundation chain I'm going to chain a total of 30 stitches. There's 10 20, and 30. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to begin by working one double crochet into the sixth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, six into that sixth chain work one double crochet stitch. Your first uh, five chains there are going to be a double crochet and a chain one space. You're then going to skip the next two chains and work one shell stitch into the next stitch. To work a shell stitch you're going to work five double crochet stitches all into the same stitch. You're then going to skip the next two chains and into the next work one double crochet, chain one, skip the next chain and work one double crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat all the way across. Skip the next two chains, work one shell stitch into the next, that's your five double crochets, Skip the next two chains and double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one and double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way across ending with a double crochet into that final stitch. At the end of your row one you're going to chain four and turn your work. Your chain four will count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. For row two you're going to begin by skipping that first chain one space and working a double crochet into the top of that first double crochet. Skip the next two stitches and work one shell stitch into the next. Skip the 
skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip the chain one space and double crochet into the next you're now going to repeat skip the next two stitches and work a shell into the next stitch skip the next two stitches double crochet into the next chain one and double crochet again into the top of the next double crochet stitch repeat that all the way across at the end of your row two you're going to you have that starting chain five there you're going to skip the first chain and then just into that next chain you'll work your final double crochet stitch chain four turn your work and that's it now this is an easy one row repeat so you're simply going to now repeat your row two uh, for the entirety of the pattern until your swatch is the desired size you can then fasten off weave in your ends and uh, enjoy your shell and lattice stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.